I'm here in Woodstock and I'm joined here by Shani McMahon, who needs no introduction. Uh, all star, all Ireland winner, hur- hur- hurler, and all Ireland club winner was with Dora Barefoot as well. Shani, thanks for coming here today for the Rice College uh, Innis Golf Classic, which is going to be held here. That you're snatching it here today. So, uh, you're a past pupil, and uh, of course, Brian had asked you to come out here. So, um, a bit late, but all, all we'll forgive you, Shani. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me, you went to school in, in Rice College. What was your experience going to school at the college there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I did. I went to the primary school in CBS first and went from there then to uh, secondary school in um, 1987, I think, to 1982, a long time ago now. So, yeah, I had a great five years there. I uh, really enjoyed my time. Um, you know, and it's, it's and I, my three boys now are, are, are either in, in, in there or gone through there. So, yeah. you know, they've had a great time there as well. And it's a great school and, you know, it's great to be able to support, uh, uh, let's say, this, this golf classic, you know. And, and I know, you know, Connor and Brian and Eamon and a few like that have done a huge amount of work and really drive it on um, at the Ireland in the school and, and the other sports there as well. So it's, it's great to be able to support that. Yeah, they're participating now very strongly, like, especially in the in the Hattie Cup series, where they're picking up wins now and again, mom, momentum. And of course, with those lads like that you've just mentioned, like any school would be really proud to have them. Like any any young lad that wants to play Ireland would 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 be just uh, you know to walk in, make sure hear us. Absolutely, like you know, and uh, I mean they've a huge amount of work done. Like my lads, you know, I can know it because my lads have been through it, and you know uh, they really appreciate the efforts of the lads. You know, and I suppose Connor in particular, there being such a role model for fellas, and he gives his time so willingly there, and as well as Brian and Aim and Pat David as well, and, and and obviously other teachers as well. But they have a huge amount of work done. They put a huge amount of effort into it, you know, and you can see the results of that over the last few years. They've been competing in the Harty and the, and the Dean Ryan and, and doing very well in that, you know, really lucky this year actually not to make a, a quarter final, you know, so, yeah. um, so they're doing great, great work there yeah. and, you know, but like everything needs a bit of support and a bit of help and a bit of backing and hopefully they'll get that through the, through the God Classic. Yeah, coming from Dora Bearfield, like a strong hurling background there in Dora Bearfield and your own family in McMahon's, uh, your uncle Jim was my teacher going to, going to kill the school, he was a, uh, he was our mentor, really. Like you know, when he came to sport as well as being a great, a great teacher, was uh, you know, did did you get a chance to play much hurling when you got into the college? When you got into the Rice College? Uh, we would have, yeah. I mean, I suppose especially you were starting off some more early on. Like we had uh, the Rice Cup as it was then, which was an under fourteen competition. I remember going to uh, Clanmel, I think it was for for a weekend yeah. away, which was a great. Uh, adventure for us back then, you know, and I don't think we played, we didn't play Harty or Dean Ryan, but we had good teams, you know, because, I mean, around that time, ourselves in Aero were actually competing in the minor A final, and we had a lot of lads from both, you know, Colin Lynch, Barry Keating, Stephen Mack were there, and then there was a good number from our place, you know, I remember uh, Fadal Collins, uh, Derry Bryant, Donald Cal, a few like that, so who would have all been involved in, the, in both minor teams, so yeah. we had good teams, um, uh, you know, and we we really enjoyed our time during hurling. You know, um, yeah. probably would have liked to have maybe competed a bit more, and maybe felt we could have done a bit better. But sure, look at that—that that was the nature of it. That was the nature of it. What age were you when you had ambitions to play for Clare, or what? When did you uh, break into the Clare team? Sure, I suppose like any young lad grown up, it was it was an ambition. Once we started going to matches, I suppose yeah. to, uh, you know to play Ireland, and we had the love of the game. I suppose and wanted to play in our club and. You know, it was a dream then to get to play for Clare, and um, I suppose I was lucky. Yeah. My first time putting on a Clare jersey actually was in a minor minor yeah. challenge back in ninety one, um, and they kind of took off a bit from there. But ah, yeah, yeah, sure, I was. You know, I loved hurling, sure, and I always had an ambition to to play for for Clare then, and was fortunate then that yeah. you know I, I did. You know. Yeah, I remember my brother telling me, I think it was probably around ninety seven. After the one day I learned, he said, like, you know how lucky we are to be born and to be able to see these lads playing, you know, the lads yourself, Brian Law and Anthony Daly, all the lads, Liam Daly, for Legacy. But you, yourself, you, you, do you look back and say, what, you know, how lucky I was to come at a time when we had such a great team? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look, you know, she sure was really fortunate to come up in with the players that we came in with and then to come in with the management we came in with, obviously, with Jared, Tony and Mike. And, um, 
but just a fantastic bunch of players and you know I suppose look we had a few hard times along the way and we learned the hard way yeah. um, you know but, but like it's still just then for I suppose when, when 95 came and you know um, we, we had enough hardship at that stage but, but absolutely like you know really fortunate to be to be there at that time with those players and that management and then even as it was we still need a few breaks along the way like and you know yeah. we we're fortunate to get those as well so um so yeah, look yeah. I, 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 I never look at it any other way as in just, you know, it was a real pleasure for me to be there at that time and I'm fortunate to be there at that time. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it I think myself there's a lot of similarities with the team that you played on and the present day team. The present day team have had a few knockbacks the last couple of years. They've done brilliantly and they've done you know, really played well. The only team putting it up to Limerick one of the few teams anyway. And they have been beaten in a couple of months to find this note. Uh, like you said, maybe 93, 94. Do you think that can drive this team on now? Oh, I definitely think it can. You know, I think, firstly, I think the team is very, very close. You know, I mean, Limerick, there's not our exceptional team, but I, I, I feel we're, we're right there with them, you know. And, I mean, you compare it back to our time, we had we had probably way worse defeats, but we lost two months of finals, and it definitely played a part in us winning the third. And, you know, I'm sure if our lads get there again, that, that that bit of extra hunger will definitely will definitely help. Yeah. So, but the bottom line is, they're really they're a great bunch of lads. They're a real quality team. They have great management over them. You know, the ingredients are there to go the distance. Like, yeah. and if small bit of luck, you know, and maybe just get that extra two percent out of themselves this year, and I, and I have every confidence that we can we can go where we want to go. Yeah. You know, because uh, they are they're a super bunch. They've been excellent over the last yeah. couple of years. And, It'll be brilliant now just to see them get over the line this year. Um, yeah. Really, really be great if, if we could do that. And did you know any any white ball that went over your head? Uh, there was always a fellow there with a red helmet to, there was, there was, to pick yeah. it up. Yeah, well, sure, look, to be honest, he was just a brilliant player, like um, a brilliant fella to have on the team. And I think these guys are really lucky to have him over the team. And I think they were nice at him. And he's, a great, he's done a great job with them. Um, He'll deflect everything towards the, the players and you know yeah. he I know how much he thinks of it of the group, like that they're a fantastic bunch. He's really he he really do anything for him like and but you can see the combination of player management and everything is really yeah. is really a nicer and and but you know, I'm I'm not not surprised in any way with, with that with Brian to be you know, from I suppose from playing with him and yeah. know the kind of guy he is, you know. So yeah, yeah just a great fella. And just to finish up, going back to Rice College, a lot of these things start with teachers who like the lights of Brian out there, who put an enormous amount of time in, who organise golf classics, who, who get young lads right to whatever. Like out of Rice College, you've had, you've, we have uh, footballers, ladies footballers, camogie players, a great rugby player out there, Nathan and, your, and yourself. You came through that school, you know, those guys, the teachers, or the people who set you on the road, I think, you know, and... Uh, oh, a hundred percent, you know, and like, it, it isn't, it isn't all about winning, like, I mean, it's, you know, I see the benefit of, of, of you know, in young lads, I see the benefit of them being, being involved in sport, you know, yeah. with, with our clubs or our schools, and, you know, the friendships you make, and I can see even a few young lads out there, they're often different clubs, but sure, they're the best of buddies, and why yeah. are they that? Because they're playing sport, you know what I mean? That's probably how they know each other, Yeah. you know, they play matches, they lose, they win, they have hardships in games, you know, but they bond and they become friends out of it. So, you know, and ultimately yeah. that's the real win of sport, and especially school sport. And, and I think that's why it's it's great that the teachers are willing to give up their time for that. A lot of it outside of ours. Um, but certainly uh, I think it's fantastic for the young lads and, and I think we as parents certainly appreciate that. You yeah. know, and long may continue. And just a last uh, question, Shani. How was your golf camp? <laughs> um, God, you play it great, you no, I used to play a good bit, but I I, I haven't played much Chinese, in the last few yeah. years. But yeah. um, you know, once the, I'm I'm a real uh, fine weather golfer as well, so it's been a bit too cold and wet up to now. <laughs> so hopefully from now on we 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 did get to hit a few balls. But yeah, yeah, no. Eric's been middling enough now. I think that's for sure. We'll we'll have a go to now in the next few weeks. More comfortable in the clubhouse like myself. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, thanks very much, and great to see you out here and. Uh, so best to look in the future. Thanks, John.